Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and very good afternoon to everyone. Okay, so today uh, we'd like to continue our lesson with the topic of the capital budgeting, which is we more on coverage on the topic of capital budgeting technique. So before we move further, so let me look at on the notes. Or we given the notes to you. Okay, so we'll be refer here for our topic for today. So basically, we want to cover for the topic of the capital budgeting. Alright, so before we move to the calculation part, so let me move, look at on the topic of the capital budgeting. So what is capital budgeting? Capital budgeting is basically is a decision making process of selecting and evaluating long term investment. So it's required the firm to make decision in respect of investment in non current asset mean that we focus more on the fixed asset such as land, machinery, building, all, all those things will be more on the capital budgeting. Before we make any decision, we need to calculate the capital budgeting. So it also have the importance of the capital budgeting. For example, the first important of the capital budgeting is it can create accountability and measurability, whereby we can measure, okay, we can measure the project, okay, so which project that suitable for our business based on our budget. So this is the things that we need to calculate, we can measure. And the second one would be we can develop and formulate long-term strategic goal. Basically, um, some of the firm, they just buy the machine, they buy the land without do any calculation. Because we need to know the strategic goal of the firm. Because if we just buy those that are not benefit to the company, basically it can make a burden for the firm. It can be a liability for the firm. So that's why we need to do a capital budgeting. Other than that, we can seek for out for the new investment project whereby when we do this kind of the uh, capital budgeting, we can know which place, which area, should we make a new investment? Should we just maintain with the investment that we have been done? So because this is the thing that we need to calculate. Okay, other than that, we can estimate and forecast for the future cash flow, facilitate the transfer of the information. We also can monitoring and control of the expenditure. And also the most important thing, the creation of the decision whether we want to accept whether we want to reject okay so basically um will be more on the capital budgeting technique okay so it also have the type of the project so this is the type of project which is we have mutually exclusive project and also we have the independent project what is the differences what is the differences between mutually exclusive project and independent project so mutually exclusive project is more on more than one project. It's only one project we name as independent. So basically when the company given to you more than one project, so you need to calculate and you need to compare which one can give you better solution A, B or C. So that one we name as mutually exclusive project. Why? When they are given only you one project and the benchmark from the company, so that we can consider as independent project, right? So hopefully that you understand. Okay, now we move to the type of the capital budgeting decision. For decision maker, we have two things, whether we want to replace, whether we want to expand. So we have replacement and also we have expansion. Okay, two things only. We have okay replacement and we have expansion okay so now we move to directly on the calculation so for the calculation part we want to cover for the payback period okay so now we want to cover for the payback period if you can see here the payback period we can be divided into two the first one okay the first one is even cash flow okay the first one is the even cash flow so even cash flow mean that each of the cash flow will be similar except for year zero. Why? Year zero is the cost of project. Basically, it's not given here. Okay, we want to show here year zero is referred to the initial outlay. 
So what in, is initial outlay? Initial outlay is the cost of the project. Cost of project mean that you need to prepare your capital first. Mean that uh, we need to give advance our capital before we can gain back. So the cash flow for year one, two, three will be the will be the uh, incoming value for us. So when you found that incoming value is similar every year, so we name as the even cash flow. So even cash flow, even cash flow is whereby the formula you take the cost of project or initial outlay, you just divide by the cash flow. For example, here you take twenty thousand divide by ten thousand. Okay, so now the answer is two years. So here it shows that the firm take two years to be completed the project. So this we name as the even cash flow. Whereas for uneven cash flow here, I give the name is project B, whereby the cash flow here will not be similar every year. Not similar, not same every year. For example, for year one, 10,000. Year 2 earning 20,000, year 3 earning 30,000, year 4 earning 50,000. When you given to you the amount or the amount given here is not similar, we name is uneven cash flow. How to do? You need to create one other column here. We name as the cumulative. You bring first the 20,000. So mean that here the 20,000 will be showing to us that we are having the cost of 20,000. So we are earning here 10,000. So because of the cumulative, okay, because of the cumulative, we start with negative. So mean that how to press the calculator. So how to press the calculator here will be start with negative. So we should clear here first. So negative 20,000. You are earning here the 10,000. Okay, so now balance will be negative 10,000. So you still uh, owe a uh, money of 10,000. Okay, still negative. And then the another year, okay, from the negative 10,000, the next year you earn 20,000. So plus 20,000. Okay, so now you have been turned to positive. Okay, so now it has been turned to positive 10,000. So then the next one you plus with the 30,000. Now the value have been changed to 40,000. Then for year four earning becoming 40,000 plus with the 50,000. The total now have been changed to 90,000. So it has its own formula. Okay, this is a formula for uneven cash flow. Year before fully recovery. Okay, plus uncovered CF, I make it as B and divide by C, CF during year. So first step, highlight first, highlight first, highlight first the year that we have been turned to positive, which is year two. We need to found year before fully recover. Cover year two, one year before will be year one. Okay, year one, we name it as A. Okay, and then uncovered CF, you drag directly Okay, to the B, which is at the cumulative, at the cumulative, name it as B and divide by CF during year. During the year that we have been turned to positive, we name it as C, A, B, C. Ignore the negative sign, you just take the value, 10,000. So 10,000 divided by 20,000 plus 1. So the answer would be 1.5, yes. So how to make a conclusion? So based on the decision making, you need to choose which project we give less year. Mean that the fastest can be completed the project. So based on the answer here, we choose project B because it has lower payback period. Right? So try to look, look at back on the calculation. All right. So please refer on the module. Okay, I hope that you will be understand on our topic for today. That's all. Okay, bye. Thank you, everyone.